Here we are at 409 Old Shalford Bridge Road located in the cliffs at Kiwi. What a special house this is. Just a little bit over 3,000 square feet. We have four bedrooms, three baths, double decker ironwood dock on deep water. And those are just the beginning of this home. You've got on the outside, you can see the beautiful uh, hardy plank board. You've got this nice stone. You've got a uh, nice two car garage over here that's going to have storage above that beautiful stone fireplace for wood burning. And what they've done here, they've gone in, they've already done a home inspection. And you don't see uh, that many people that'll do that up front. They've taken care of all the issues with the home inspection. They've even uh, landscaped, You've got new flowers, new mulch throughout the property. And uh, you know, the, the, the layout that you'll see when we go in is very open, a beautiful setting on the back side when you look at these wonderful hardwood trees. Let's head on inside, talk about that, and then we'll go uh, from there down to the dock. First thing I feel when I come into this house that I'm at a lake house and a lot of times when you get into a, a home around Lake Kiwi you just don't feel like that. It's more of a traditional style home. You don't have all the uh, you know wood siding or the knotty pine in here the, up in the ceilings nice vaulted with these beautiful large timbers. You've got built-in bookshelves over here again made out of the pine and uh, great windows on the back that are gonna just give you a wonderful view of the lake. And then as you look into the kitchen, you know, again, you've got this nice bar here to utilize, a little dining area. And again, going back out to the, um, to the lake and looking down at Double Decker Dock. Probably my favorite place in the whole house is this little screened in porch area. Got the nice hardwood here. Some nice privacy, some trees over here on the right, and just a wonderful setting. Ceiling fan. Now all the decks have been restained, and you'll see that as we look outside, that nice dark, rich color, and a, a lot of deck space. So again, if you want to entertain friends, family, whatever, you're going to have a lot of space to do that as well. All right, let's scoot back through here. Everything you would expect in the kitchen, refrigerator, smooth top cooking, built-in microwave, dishwasher, disposal, and an ample amount of, ca of uh, cabinet space. Come into the little hallway. We've got two bedrooms and two baths on this level. We, we pull this down to show you there's just ample storage area uh, above, you can see here in the attic. <clears throat> and we'll go into the master bedroom, large room, double-sided closet. You've got nice wood windows, you know, some wood shutters in here or blinds. And stand-up shower, toilet sink. This home is really designed as a second home. Now let's go to the side. We've got a little storage closet here for towels and things. Another bathroom. Again, same setup. This one a little bit different with a tub shower, sink toilet, and then another large bedroom over here on this level. Again, side by side closets, wood windows, and there's a Let's head downstairs to the basement level, check out the game room area. All right, great bonus room, game room area, whatever you want to call it. Again, wood burning fireplace. Uh, instead of a drop ceiling, you've got this nice wooded ceiling. Again, the, the uh, knotty pine walls, got extra sink down here. More storage area as well, and a great view out to the lake as you can see. And again, a whole nother um, area of decking for the outside entertainment. Got a little storage closet here. And then well, we could call this the bunk room because it is a huge room. You could really load up in here on the bunk beds for the kids and put them on uh, sleeping bags if you need to sleep a lot of folks. And then another. now again, we've got a full bath here, tub shower combo, sink toilet, 
and then a nice size uh, laundry room with a sink here in the back. As you can see, we have a train heating and air unit, top of the line, water heater. All right, let's head out on the back deck, take a view from here, and then we'll head down this nice stone path down to this uh, beautiful dock. Before that, actually, let's go to the two-car garage. Let's head on over there. Again, the decks have been restained. Two-car garage, and we've actually pulled down, as you can see here, more storage. So you have ample storage upstairs as well uh, in the attic area. All right, let's head down from here. Let's head down to the lake and check out the lot. Here we can see we're uh, down here below the house and I love the stone trail here and exactly how they've uh, just kind of layered the stone down on this side to keep it nice and level coming down the lake. And also you see behind me there's a light that you could flip on actually from the uh, garage that'll light it up at night if you want to head down here and go for a night swim or a late evening boat ride or maybe you might want to go to the Tiki Hut and then as you're coming back leave that light on to make it easy to get back up. Nice pad here. You can see down below again that is an ironwood dock and we're talking about extremely deep water because uh, of the drop off that you get from here and uh, you got to love the double decker dock set up as you can see they also have a jet ski lift and also a boat lift here as well so uh, power set up got a nice storage bin as well what i love about this cove if you don't know exactly where you are on the lake cedar creek is across the way the uh, cove dead ends here to the left, it actually dead ends into a dam and there's a lake where there's the park. And then if you head out to the right, you'll kind of zigzag out and, and uh, head out by, or go around an island and then you'll be over at Fall Creek Landing right out on the main uh, lake area. So you're protected. So if you want to get out here and really enjoy just swimming and not having a lot of boats around, that's what this is going to give you to, uh, to have and offer. So and that's what I like so much about it. Absolute great property. I love the setting that it gives you. You've even got the nice little cove over there that you could swim in and out of. If you have any interest in this one, give us a call at 800-682-9098. Enjoy the aerial views and you'll see exactly where we are and just how close we are to the Blue Ridge Mountains from here. Here we are at the clubhouse and the uh, pool area for Cliffs at Kiwi. They also have a, a nice inside area that's going to give you a kitchen. So if you want to have maybe a birthday party or get together out here, that's a possibility. And then if you look down below as well, um, nice pool deck. They've also got a uh, boat ramp down there at the bottom. They even have a grill and a, I believe an ice machine down up under for you. So nice setup is the nice amenity package to go with the house.